The pool being used for this video is the Sequoia Spirit Metal Frame Pool with wood grain enclosure. This pool utilizes the same proven technology of our metal frame pool with an attractive hard side enclosure. Important, if you are setting up on grass, you must remove the sod where the pool will sit. Your pool may differ slightly in the number of parts involved in the assembly depending upon size. Check that you have all the parts as listed in your manual. Do not start assembly if parts are missing. Please contact Intex as instructed in your manual. It is important to set up your pool on a completely level surface to keep the water balanced. Make sure the selected location is within reach by your garden hose and a GFCI type electrical outlet because the pool should never be moved with water in it. Do not put the pool right against your house. Envision the traffic patterns around the pool and see where you can place the filter pump without people tripping over the electric cord. Some communities require fenced enclosures. Check with your city for local requirements. Since your pool has a panel enclosure attached around the metal frame and liner, it should be set up on a concrete surface. Otherwise, it is necessary to prepare the ground by removing the sod within the circle where the pool will stand. This important step will ensure that the pool and enclosure will stand on the same level when the pool is filled with water. The following sod removal instructions are for a 488 centimeter pool. If you have a 549 centimeter pool, please consult your manual for correct sod measurements. First, mark off a circle with a radius of 267 centimeters in paint or chalk in the area you have selected for the pool. Remove the sod, cutting the edge carefully to leave the lawn intact around the enclosure when assembled. Level and check to make sure there are no high or low spots anywhere within the circle. Tamp the pool area to firm up the soil, paying particular attention to the outer portions where the metal posts and enclosure supports will be located. Embed 16 46 cm by 46 cm concrete pavers flush with the earth and situated every meter directly under both the metal post feet and each of the bottom joints as shown in this video. Or pour 5 cm thick concrete pads. You may wish to hire a contractor to help you with this portion of your setup. This will keep the enclosure level with the pool when the pool is full. Before unrolling the pool, Clear the area thoroughly of any object that would puncture the pool when it is in use. Ground cloths can also provide additional protection and should be carefully spread out to cover the area. Now you are ready to set up the pool. Unroll the pool liner on top of the ground cloth, making sure it is right side up. Do not drag the pool across the ground since that may result in leaks. Locate the filter connecting holes. Make sure they are facing the area where you will put the pump. Double check to be sure that a GFCI type electrical outlet is within reach by the power cord. Allow the sun to warm the liner for easier beam insertion. Slide one of the larger diameter poles through one of the pockets located at the top of the pool. Next, Attach a three-hole joint to one end of the pole and insert the connection pin to lock it in place. Continue this procedure in one direction around the pool. The last joint connection may be difficult to complete. To make the job easy, lift the last joint and beam three centimeters and insert the beam while lowering the frame back to the ground. Slide the legs through the belt located in the middle of the pool sidewall and inside the restraining rope. Snap the legs into the three hole joints while aligning the spring-loaded pins with the holes. Double check to make sure that all legs are inside the belt loop and inside the restraining rope. Put end caps on all legs at the bottom. Give the pool a good shake to settle all the parts and make sure all pins are firmly in place. Check to be sure all legs are nicely vertical. Remove the nuts from the strainer connectors and from inside the pool, install the connectors with flat rubber washers through the inlet and outlet holes in the liner. 
From outside the liner, screw the nuts back on the connectors and tighten them firmly by hand. From inside the liner, put the strainer valve caps onto the inlet and output connectors so water will not run out while filling. See the chapter on filter pump installation if unsure of correct procedure. Finally, recheck the filter connector holes to see if they are still facing the area where you will put the filter pump. Make adjustment if necessary. Important! It is best to fill the pool before installing the hard side enclosure. However, if you are setting up on a thick lawn, the enclosure may sit higher than the water-filled pool, making assembly difficult. For this reason, ground prep is recommended. Proceed to install the wood grain pool enclosure next. When finished, please refer to the menu options for the filter pump assembly video.